hello all of you risk takers and truth seekers to the one of the most known places on the planet Earth. Place which lasts two generations. Place inspiring many movie directors and uh, producers, actors. The place which inspired many conspiracy theorists. And the place where the most of criminals never succeeded to penetrate. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Museum of the Lure. Behind me, as you can see, there is the beautiful pyramids, glass pyramid there. Eh? And uh, we're gonna walk, make a walk around. I wanna make a show to capture as much as possible, detail possible about this place. Uh, we're gonna see why this place is capturing audience so many. Interesting enough, what I'm seeing here, it's a lot of, a lot of young people. That's a, not excursions. You can see there's a lot of people taking pictures and they're taking uh, a lot of notes, a lot of journaling. So I'm not sure what inspired. I'm going to try to find out. I'm going to ask a couple of questions. Why do people love to come to this place? This place is known for the many reasons. You know, Mona Lisa, she's somewhere down in some of the safes. No criminal penetrated this place ever, ever. As well, there's a going the good conspiracy theory that uh, Freemasons actually mark this place with uh, this glass pyramid for some reason. So let's go discover the symbols and the signs around this place. And I'll give you the historical data about this place a little bit later. So let's go capture as much as possible details we can about this amazing place. It's spacious, it's big. You can see security, it's uh, imperative. There's a lot of buildings happening because the Olympic Games coming soon. But as you can see it, it is very, very, very well organized. And uh, let's go dig deep into a place called Lur, which many people want to see it in person. And why is that? Let's go discover together. Welcome to the Lur, ladies and gentlemen. The place number one I visited today, I wanted, I had enough time. It is the Museum of the Louvre. So I went there, I ventured there. I'll give you the historical background about this place a little bit later, but let me just share this with you. This place is truly remarkable. It's one of the most visited places on planet Earth. Absolutely. I think it's visited even more than Sydney Opera House. I, I bet it is. So I compare this with the Sydney because that's where I live. But let me just give you the insight what's happening when you arrive. First of all, this is the one of the most historical grounds on the planet Earth. As I say, I'm going to historical data a little bit later. But let me explain to you something. That museum, which is underground, is being designed specifically for the purpose of protecting things. So nobody steal the Mona Lisa from down under. If you want to go to a museum, the line is it's so tremendously long. It's, you know, you need to wait at least half an hour, even 45 minutes to go inside. But once when you're inside, it's just, you know, to die for. Like, that's all I can say. Is it voted? Absolutely. 11 of them. The, the, the knowledge you're going to get about history, the knowledge and, uh, and, and the explanations, what was happening in the minds of the many people through the all, through the ages, but when you're seeing the art displayed and the day sculptors, they, the painters, they, the mathematicians, the geometricians, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. Because it's uh, so many uh, the objects over there that I can't even name them. You know, Mona Lisa is not real. It's a fake paint there, but it's the best fake paint on the wall. But one thing what strikes me is that people when walked into the Louvre Museum, we talk about buildings, being built during the Medici's and you know that's a 700 years ago 800 years ago something like this right don't hold me for the word I need to calculate but I think seven eight hundred years ago those buildings has been erected the entire plateau when you walk inside is being surrounded with in like a square right it's a square type buildings right one side is open so it's the three sides of the square being combined it is filled with tourists but tourists don't come in lower to get into museum this is what i want to talk to you today about guys when you come to visit something in some country 
Something particular has this historical value. And trust me, Museum of Louvre has not just historical value in museum, but above the ground, you know, where you walk in, when I walk in, with these glass pyramids there are. Some people say it's been Masonic center, but look, uh, there's a lot of symbols there we need to understand, we need to read, to research, but lead this to historians, I lead this to people who are doing this for the living. Does look everything on a square? Absolutely does, which is a Masonic sort of type approach. Everything is on a square. But all these pyramids has been positioned properly. You know, it's a glass pyramids. Uh, one thing it is, there's no water around the pyramids. There's a pools being created, but they've been cleaned because Olympic Games coming. But as I say, when you come in historical grounds like a Louvre, anywhere, anywhere in the world, guys, take it advantage to enjoy, sit, breathe, inhale, listen, watch, because you're never going to have a, this chance again. I sat today and I think myself, these buildings are old, hundreds and hundreds of years. There's so many history in those buildings, so many bold decisions has been made. There's so many plots against the uh, the king and and you know the, the the list goes on it's very i was very proud very actually privileged to sit there today but that's where everything stops i need to move myself more from left to right from here to there because why because people coming into lure for one simple reason let's go take a photos let's go be seen on instagram whatever on social media tiktoks whatever you're doing and then everybody pushes everybody because everybody loves to have the best uh, background, everybody loves to have the best position, how to be, you know, hold the finger on the top of like illusion, you know, I mean, top of the, the pyramids. It's a freaking annoying. It's so annoying. That's the reason why it's the best to come there during the evening because they have the lights and illumination from the, from the what's it called, uh, museum, comes up from underground through the pyramids. And that's the point why the pyramids are glassed. I mean, lights coming during the night. But it was just appalling. Everybody chasing that perfect freaking shot. Now, let me share with you something more, historical data about Lul and why you need to go there. The Louvre Museum, located in Paris, is one of the most famous and visited museums in the world. Originally built as a fortress in the late 12th century by King Philippe Auguste, the Louvre has undergone numerous transformations over the centuries, evolving into a magnificent art museum is today. The history of the Louvre is rich and varied. After serving as a fortress, it became royal residence in the 16th century under King Francois who began to transform into Renaissance Palace. Subsequent monarchs, including Louis XIV, continued to expand and embellish the Louvre. However, it was during the French Revolution that the Louvre was converted into the public museum, officially opening its doors in 1793. One of the key highlights of the Louvre is so a vast collection of artworks spanning over 9,000 years of history. The museum houses approximately 35,000 pieces, including some of the world's most renowned masterpieces. Notable work includes Leonardo da Vinci, Mona Lisa, the ancient Greek statue Venus de Milo, and Eugene de Clavacroix, Liberty Leading the People. The museum's diverse collection is divided into eight departments, encompassing Eastern antiquities, Islamic art, sculptures, decorative arts, paintings, prints and drawings. The Louvre architecture is equally impressive. The iconic glass pyramid entrance designed by the architect I.M. Pei and completed in 1989 contrasts sharply with the historic palace, symbolizing the museum blend of tradition and modernity. Beneath the pyramid lies the expensive Carousel du Louvre, an underground shopping and dining area that enhances the visitor's experience. The grounds of the Louvre are steeped in history. The Cor Carré, the oldest part of the palace, offers a glimpse into Louvre's origin as fortress. The Tuileries Garden, adjacent to the museum, was created by the Catherine de' Medici in the 16th century and is now a beautiful public park where visitors can relax and enjoy their surroundings. Visiting the Louvre is 
unforgettable experience, offering a journey through time and art. Its extensive collections, stunning architecture and historic grounds make it must-see destination for anyone visiting Paris. Whether you are an art enthusiast or history buff, the Louvre Museum provides a profound and enriching cultural experience.